हेलो स्टूडेंट आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर नंबर नाइन आवर इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम नाउ व्हाट इज इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम एन इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम इज अ मींस बाय विच सोसाइटीज और गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइज एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट available resources services and goods across a geographic region or country now student you can see the picture given in your textbook journey of a rupee now what is an economic activity an activity that involves producing and selling goods or services is called an economic activity for example a farmer who produces crops and sells them in market is doing an economic activity a grocery store vegetable hawkers teachers doctors etc are also doing economic activities now economic activity can be classified into three sectors that is primary sector secondary sector and service se sector now the first one primary sector the economic sector which makes direct use of natural resources is known as primary sector the activities done in this sector involve converting natural resources into primary product for example producing cereals fruits and vegetables obtaining wood medicinal plants and gum from forest obtaining milk meat bones and leather from animals obtaining fish and various plants from water mining minerals from earth we make use of all these natural product in economic activities like agriculture mining fisher, uh, fisheries animal husbandry etc and on money moreover these products also serve as raw materials for various industries thus these activities are categorized as the primary sector now the second one secondary sector it is also known as manufacturing sector certain primary products are such that it has to be proceeds into a finished product to be of an any use to us such economic activity is called the activity of secondary sector for example manufacturing cotton textile from cotton exerting oil from cotton seeds making jaggery and sugar from sugar cane making bricks from soil etc small and large scale industries manufacturing machines means of transport means of communication electrical equipments consumer goods chemicals and dyes clothes defense equipments etc are a part of the secondary sector that's why it is also known as the industrial sector now the third one service sector it is also known as the territory sector the primary and the secondary sectors cannot function without this sector the raw material or finished products have to be transported to various manufacturing units or traders for which various means of transportation and infrastructures like airways waterways roadways electricity and other fuel facilities etc become essential to maintain the communication between manufacturing and trading units telecommunication letters internet etc are essential to sustain the entire network of production and distribution education health banking and insurance facilities are required in the modern times atm call center 
software designing etc have become very important services now you can see the table given in your textbook example of economic activity second column is what will be the effect and the third one is what does it indicate now the first one what if a farmer refuses to sell sugar cane to sugar mills the effect will be the product of primary sector that is sugar cane will not reach the secondary sector hence the sugar industry will not be able to produce and so it may shut down and it indicates that this economic activity of secondary sector cannot be done without the help of primary sector now the second one what if the textile mills in india decide to import cotton from other countries rather than purchasing it from the indian farmers then what will happen to cottage cotton farming indian farmers will not be able to produce and sell cotton thus they will become jobless and primary sector will be affected it indicates that india should control its imports if it imports too much our economic activities will be affected now the third one is a farmer buys tractor pump set electricity chemical fertilizer pesticides etc what if the price of pump set and chemical fertilizer increases the effect will be the cost of production of primary sector goods will increase now what it indicates the products prepared at primary sector will be sold costlier to secondary sector hence the cost of final product sold to the customer will be high now the fourth one food is required by those working in the secondary that is industrial or territory that is service sector what if the transporters go on strike and refuse to bring vegetables milk etc from the village now the effect will be since the transport industry will be on strike people will not get sufficient and timely supply of essential goods now it indicates that raw materials will not reach primary and secondary sector industries hence production and sale of proceeds or produced goods will stop now how do we account the value of goods and services of various sectors and also calculate the total production one example is given a farmer sells wheat at the rate of rupees 15 kg to a flour mill there it is turned into flour and sold to a biscuit making company for rupees 20 per kg the biscuit making company mixes sugar ghee and other things with the flour and makes four pack uh, big packets of biscuits it is sold in the market for rupees 80 so rupees 20 per packet the the biscuit is the end product which reaches the consumer now student i will explain you the further topic in my next video thank you